Good morning, good morning. It's Karen Richardson here and I wanted to bring this to you. Carrot bars is a scam. Shall we address it? <laughs> All right, I thought that'd get your attention. So there are a lot of people out there who are screaming scam, you know, at, at carrot bars and I'm sure it's not the only opportunity that they are doing that this with. However, I'm going to be really kind actually and I'm going to say okay well let's look at uh, what's going on in carrot bars and why they might feel this way about um, what's happening and then let's actually address these objections with you know what's what's going on what the situation is and what the facts are um, because it's easy to get carried away with you know a scam narrative um, when in your mind you know you're seeing things from a certain point of view and you're not actually looking at beyond that point of view to what is actually going on and what um, is actually happening in the you know in the ecosystem in what is actually going on in the world even um, so let's actually talk about that because to a degree um, I will actually say I think um, expectations could have been handled better on the outset with um, the, the KBC coin um, when it was announced that one KBC coin is going to be sorry 100 KBC coins is going to be worth a gram of gold on July the 4th and this is absolutely true um, however, a lot of people came in thinking, yes, I can buy this for pennies and then I'm just going to take it all out and it's going to be worth the amount of gold. Well, first of all, let's address that. No one actually said the coin is going to be worth in, in terms of fiat currency, in terms of paper money, the same as amount of, of a gram of gold. OK, so 100 coins, that mean they'd have to be 45 cents each on the market. Now, you have to understand that um, the cryptocurrency market value is a completely separate entity that actually carrot bars itself has no control over because it's controlled by the people who buy the coins. So, you know, at the moment, the coin is at a very low price, which is wonderful because it means you can buy that coin and you can exchange it for grams of gold. OK, grams of gold. It was never promised you were going to get the cash value of gold. OK, so that's number one. You were never promised the cash value of gold. You were never promised that the coin would be exactly the same value as the gold on July the 4th or, you know, thereafter. OK, that was not the promise. The promise was 100 coins could be exchanged for one gram of gold. And they have fulfilled that. But in order to get that gold, you have to, um, you know, uh, get a, a print of what's called a QR code and you have to be a member of Carrot Bars to be able to do this. OK, so if you've just bought the coin on the exchange, you need to join Carrot Bars so that you can then change your coins up for a gram of gold. OK, that's what you need to do. It's not going to happen on the crypto exchanges. As I say, they are independent. OK, they're independent of everything else that's going on. They are dependent on people buying and selling the coin. Now, having said that, the fact that we have two, you know, separate prices or two separate values, rather not prices, two separate values for this coin is a wonderful thing because, you know, we've got the gold value of the coin whereby the coin can be exchanged for gold right so you have that gold value and that is always going to be whatever the value of a gram of gold is which is approximately 50 um, US cents at the moment okay so US dollars <laughs> approximately 50 US dollars which would you know then make one coin like like the value in gold right not a fiat value but the value in gold would be like 50 cents right for one coin However, the market obviously does not reflect that just yet. But and this is can I just say that my opinions are my opinions. They're not necessarily based on those of carrot bars or other carrot bar affiliates. Um, but, you know, the fact that we have this separate market price is a brilliant thing because you think of Bitcoin. OK, now Bitcoin is just in a sense, it's like a fiat currency and it is not backed with anything. Actually, our coin is backed with gold. OK, so we have the gold standard backing our crypto coin. But that also means because it has an independent market value, it can also go much higher than that value 
of gold that it's backed with. It could go up to 10,000, for example. And I'm saying I'm not, you know, I don't know this for a fact. I'm not, a, I'm just saying this is one of those possibilities. And there are reasons why that is, that is a very high possibility. Okay, so that's just addressing number one. And um, you know, there's also, there was this misnomer that you could just un, then draw out unlimited amounts of gold. Now, can I just say that, can you imagine if everyone in the world decided to withdraw all their cash from the banks, what do you think would happen? Okay, the banks would collapse, right? The whole financial system would collapse. Now, very wisely, there has been a limit put on the amount of gold that you can withdraw. So it's only at the moment one gram of gold a day, okay? And we can withdraw that physical gold through cash gold machines, right? Like ATMs, gold ATMs. And, you know, you have to understand that we are in this start-up period, okay, of a gold standard bank with crypto, with gold, backed with gold, okay? We are right in the start of this whole venture, okay? The cash gold machines, the first thousand, were actually starting to be shipped out yesterday. So they're actually going all over the world. So people are actually gonna be able to withdraw physical gold, okay? Withdraw physical gold um, in the next few months. And obviously that's the first thousand. There will be more and more waves of cash gold as people adopt this more and more. All right, so that's step one, right? So we're gonna have the CEMs, that's what they're called, the gold ATM machines called CEMs, cash gold exchange machines, I believe it stands for, um, so that people can withdraw the gold, okay? So that's coming. Right. Well, they're being delivered right now, actually, as we speak. They're, they're, they're out and they are being delivered. OK, then moving forward. We're going to have an entire banking ecosystem. Right. This is what's coming. The gold standard bank, the carrot coin bank world. OK, whereby all these things are going to start to become interchangeable, okay? Crypto, gold back crypto, and then eventually it's going to going to have a, um, a situation where carrot bars are going to buy back gold for cash, for fiat, right? So this is all on its way. Now, for those of you who have never been in a startup situation, I can understand that, that you sort of expect everything right away, right? It's all got to happen. This is what's been promised. It's got to happen right now. It doesn't work like that. Carrot bars are proposing an actual world solution, okay, against the real scam that's going on. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Carrot bars are coming up with a world global solution. Guys, Rome wasn't built in a day. This is going to take time. You know, it's going to take, It's the next few months are absolutely pivotal. But for the mass adoption of this, it's going to take two to five years, probably, hopefully a lot quicker. You know, so we have to sit tight and we have to be patient. Right, now let's talk about the real scam that's going on, okay? The real scam is the Federal Reserve. The real scam is the fiat currencies that aren't backed by gold, right? The real scam is that the banks are printing money, okay? They're just, they're gung-ho. They are printing lots and lots of money. Now, what do you think that does to the value of our money? It decreases it it rapidly decreases it. If you notice how much more expensive things are, it's because mon money doesn't have the value that it has had before because they keep on printing. It's called quantitative easing. Now, this means there is going to be a crash, okay? It's no ifs or buts or maybes, okay? We had a massive recession in 2008. And to alleviate um, the issues with that recession, the banks printed money, and it has been going on ever since 2008. That means that it's not going to be a recession next time. It is going to be a crash, okay? It is going to be just a terrible, terrible situation where, you know, the Western countries in particular who have been doing this are going to be finding themselves in a very, very difficult situation. So what do you think they're going to do? Let's think about that, shall we? What do you think they are going to do? We well, you know that nice pension that you've got building up. Well, 
you think they might raid that? Because that's happened before, yeah? They just dip into the pension pots and say, oh, sorry, sorry, all that money you've put into the pensions, it's not available anymore. And they can do that. They have what's called bail-in. So if you have savings in a bank, they can just help themselves to it. They will just take it, okay? It's legal. It's written into their contracts that they can do that. It happened in Greece, okay? It happened in Greece. They actually took people's money. They would not let people withdraw money, okay? So this, this is what is, you know, going to happen moving forward because it's going to be a crash. So if you can't see why we need something that's independent from our banking system, the new wave, which is crypto money, it's people's money, okay? The new wave is crypto, but backed with gold, which is the oldest currency in the world. The oldest currency. Why does gold hold its value? Because there's a limited amount of it, okay? There's a limited amount of it. That's why the value of it goes up. Oh, and just so you know, the banks are currently buying up gold and they are driving the value of gold up, which is good news for people like us who hold the gold, right? Why are they buying the gold? Because they know what's going to happen. They know this crash is coming. So we actually should be watching what they're doing and doing the same. And the thing is, at the moment, we have this unique opportunity unique opportunity to actually buy gold for pennies by buying the crypto, which is backed by gold, right? We have this opportunity. And until December the 15th, we have a, a coin that's currently in ICO. Um, so it's going to be joining. It's the utility coin, the, 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 the part of the um, banking infrastructure, and it's going to join its sister coin, which is currently on the exchanges, right? So you know, let's just be realistic about this. What Carrot Bars is providing is a solution. It's actually a way out. It's an exit plan for, you know, what is coming, right? It is coming, guys, right? You know this because we have been through recession after recession and it is cyclical. And actually, we're overdue. If you look at the timings, it's always between 10, 12 years, you know, and we, so it's it's imminent, it's due, and it won't just be a recession this time because of the quantitative easing that's been going on. So what's the best way to protect yourself? Well, frankly, it's to get involved. It's actually to look beyond, um, you know, the initial um, get which rich quick thing, which is unfortunately where most people are screaming scam. That's where they're coming from, this this place of get rich quick. And you know what? I don't blame you for that either, because another part of this whole scam is actually leaving people in a place of scarcity because your money, you have more month than money with your paychecks now because your money doesn't stretch. You know, you are dying for a holiday. You are dying just to have a lucky break. You are dying to get a nice new car. You've got stuff that's breaking down, okay? And you don't have enough money to get it sorted out. And this scarcity, again, is caused by that big banking scam that's currently going on, okay? That's why you are feeling this way but you have to just hold tight. And I know it's tough. Trust me, I've been there. In the last recession, my husband lost his job. We were just depending on my income, which was very small at that time. I was a school secretary and we lived on our credit cards. What happened? We have built up massive, massive debt as a result and we are currently paying that off. You know, and I'm so grateful that I personally have come across carrot bars because now I can see this is my way out. This is going to give me my retirement in a few years. This is going to pay my mortgage off. This is going to clear my debt mountain. Because what we are looking at here is so innovative. It's so forward thinking. It is so what the world needs. OK, you've got to look at the problems that are being created in the world and how this is a massive solution. But you have to be patient. You have to be patient because these things are coming. They are going to fall into place. They are going to fall into place. Right. But it is a new 
It's a completely new concept. It's not even like a business startup where certain things are maybe expected. This is completely new. There are going to be bumps in the road. There are going to be hiccups. Okay, but you've got to come from this from a much bigger view. Okay, you've got to stop looking at it like this and through tiny little specks. Okay, look at the the global view of what's happening here. Right? Stop being small minded about it. Because that's what you're doing. And I'm sorry if that hurts, if that's the truth. You've got to look at this with a big view, with a wide perspective and actually see what is happening here. Right. Do you honestly think this man, Harold Size, and all the other directors, OK, who are involved in this project would be putting themselves out there in the public? They're going they're going to get their blockchain regulated this is really powerful, okay? They're going to get the crypto and the blockchain regulated because with regulation, okay, it's going to get rid of that kind of shady side to crypto. Do you know what I mean? And it's going to allow for more mass adoption because with regulation, you know, people are going to feel more, um, should we say, happy about using crypto because at the moment there isn't anything, you know, really in place. And for this to become a bank, then there needs to be some kind of regulation in place, which, you know, for some people it's going to be good news. Other people who are thinking, oh, well, I quite like keeping everything hidden. Maybe not so good news, but you've got to look at the big picture here because when mass adoption comes in, when people feel good about using this because it has the regulation, right, it's going to give people that warm, fuzzy feeling, shall we say about using it okay so it's it's all good it's all good and this is what we should be celebrating you know the the fact that we have someone who cares so much about putting his neck out on the line and actually creating something that's a world solution that's going to save so many people from poverty from debt from, you know, a, a really bleak looking future. And I've got to say, if you're not seeing this, I, I feel sorry for you because this is really important. And if you're just going around screaming scam, it's not helping, you know, build, you know, as members of Carrot Bars, we are responsible as well. So if you have bought a package at some point and you are a member of Carrot Bars and you're going out there screaming scam, well, you, you know, if you bring this company down, you get what you deserve at the end of the day. We are responsible for our own businesses. We are responsible for helping this company, you know, achieve this incredible feat. So just please, please think about that. Just think about that for a minute, about what we are actually doing here. OK, what we are actually doing here, it's huge. It's huge and it's really, really important and I would just say, look, if you're still not convinced, then just sit on the fence with it a little bit, OK? Just watch what's going on. Stop making judgments. Just say, OK, I'm just going to reserve my judgment for a bit and just see what else happens, OK? Because it's it's not just that we have merchant software. It's not that the bank's coming. It's we've got these products as well. We now have, you know, because privacy is becoming a real issue. I don't know if you've noticed that, you know, with people being hacked and identity theft. You know, we now have a laptop and a phone that ensure us complete privacy because it's done it, because it uses blockchain technology, which bring, gives us back our privacy, basically, um, which is really important. You know, we've got gold, which gives us our security. Right. And that's where we are. We're at safeguarding. You know, this is all about safeguarding your your wealth. It's about safeguarding your future and it's about safeguarding your private data. OK, there's so much that this company is bringing to us that's completely revolutionary and we should be embracing that and we should be cheering them on and we should be saying okay there's been a few hiccups you know that they've been outside of the control of the company um, and we should be saying thank you to them to Harold Size to his team um, for creating this and honestly you know this is a huge opportunity this is a huge opportunity and you need to start seeing it that way and you need to stop thinking short term. You need to start thinking long term, big picture, what is actually happening here and we should be supporting it all the way. OK, so the scam in summary, the scam is not carrot bars. The scam 
is what's happening in our banking systems. Okay, they're forcing us to live a life of scarcity. Um, it's no wonder people lack trust these days, okay, because of everything that's going on in the world. It's it's not your fault. Um, it really isn't. But, you know, you, you do need to take the blinkers off and look at the big picture here, you know, um, and you need to just say, okay, so I, I bought this package. That's a really good thing. And it's going to safeguard me. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. OK, and if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong in five years time, then you can go, ha ha, told you so. But likewise, I think it's going to be the other way around. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. And, um, you know, watch out for my next video and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.